Alright guys, let's see how we can solve another question from the third chapter of the Miriam textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And in this one, we need to figure out what way W will cause the system to be in equilibrium. We can neglect all the friction and we can state any other assumptions that we're going to have in this question. So we are looking for the weight and we're going to start with the free body diagram of this weight and the pulley so we're going to have one single cable that goes around this pulley over this one and here and comes back to point b so we have one single cable which means we have one single tension in each point of this cable so we're going to consider tension t for the cable we're going to have one in here one here we obviously have the weight of this 100 pound and since we are not considering any friction and we are in equilibrium we should be able to use our equilibrium equation sum of all forces in x equals zero and we're going to have the same thing for y so i'm just going to show our x and y for the first block let's call this x and this will be our y axis so in x axis we're going to have the two tension in the cable and we're going to have the x component of the w which is what we have in here so that's going to be we know this angle is also 25 degrees since this angle is 25. So minus W sine of 25 degrees equals zero. And we know also the W is 100 pounds. So we should be able to find the T's. So here our tension in the cable would be weight sine of 25 degrees divided by two. So the tension in the cable would be 50 sine of 25 degrees so that's going to give us 21.1 pound and if we found the tension in the cable we don't need to even use our second equilibrium equations and now we're going to move on to the free body diagram of the weight b and the pulley that is attached to that so obviously we're going to have the weight of this part and we're going to assume in this question that all of these tensions are vertical and each of them are t very similar to what we did in the previous part and we're just going to do some of all forces in y equals zero let's just call our x and y for here maybe in this direction we can use whatever x and y that we want to use in here so we basically have 3t minus w b equals zero and basically our w would be three times 21.1 So let's just multiply this by three. That's going to give us 63.39 pounds. And the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.